Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Father Pat, our guest on this Friday morning here. I guess not not a guest anymore, and, and uh, a significant part of our daily uh, uh, flock note delivery, or, or weekly, a couple of times, as you know. But for the last several weeks, uh, Father, uh, we've been uh, focusing and stressing um, becoming a disciple so that we can become an apostle, and how we how we do those steps. And uh, attached at the bottom of today's uh, uh, interview with you is um, the, the steps that you can take as an individual at St. Simon and Jude to become an apostle. And I know that you also want to, um, to talk a little bit about that this morning with everyone. Yeah, so we have been talking these last few weeks about taking that next step, right? We've been talking about here during this Easter season, um, you know, recognizing uh, that through our Lord's resurrection, that in baptism, we died with Christ and rose with Christ to a new life. And particularly this year, as the, we come out of this pandemic, uh, it's important for us to, to focus on what that, that new life is and, 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 and to assess where we are in this life with Christ and, and what's that next step that we need to take. And so uh, since Easter, uh, we've been running in the bulletin and talking about uh, periodically, uh, uh, 12 next steps, 12 suggestions, things that you can think about, about what that next step is to, uh, to, to become a, a, a disciple who makes disciples or to become an apostle, to, which, is our, which is our ultimate goal. And so in today's flock notes, we have the, uh, the copy of those uh, 12 steps there. And, you know, it involves the things we've been talking about doing, you know, I mean, just coming to Mass regularly and participating in, in the activities we have. We've, we've had such wonderful success here recently with our service drives and getting involved in the ministries. I, I particularly have been encouraging people to uh, get involved in, in, in the liturgical ministry and, and uh, uh, joining a small community. It's, it's so important. And, and, and looking in stewardship, not forgetting about, you know, that it is giving our, our time, talent, and treasure. So, you know, what are we doing uh, to give back uh, to the church, to give back to, to build up God's kingdom? Uh, look at where we are in our faith formation to discern where our vocation is, um, and, and, and then to start getting involved in various ministries and apostolates that that help us to really uh, focus on what that vocation is and ultimately ultimately determine what that vocation is, what God's calling us to, and make a, a formal step towards a, a formal vocation, which is, which is what an apostle is all about, right? Formally saying, this is how God is calling me to go forth and make disciples. And, and that's what an apostle is, is someone who goes out and makes disciples of others, who's sent by God, who recognizes his call, and his sin. So uh, over these last few weeks, we've been talking about all the possible next steps uh, that you have. Uh, this weekend, uh, we'll be talking uh, more about our, our faith formation program. So uh, we've been, uh, you know, this year with the COVID and everything and the virtual and all, you know, our, our, our program has struggled a bit as we uh, tried to uh, take it virtually. And we put together a a team of parishioners uh, a few months ago to, to really look at our program and, 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 and look at what we're going to be doing next year. And they're, they're going to be rolling that out at the masses uh, this week to, to really look at a faith formation program that gets the whole family involved in faith formation. It's, it's, we're all, no matter how young, no matter how old we are, continuing to grow in our faith is important. And, and I think it's important for families to to grow together in their faith. And so um, we'll, have, uh, we'll have after all the masses and during the mass, we'll talk about um, our new faith formation program and what is ahead there. But if all of this, it's, it's, it's all about allowing the Holy Spirit to come in and, 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 and to flow through us and to opening ourselves up to the Holy Spirit. And over this next month as we begin to start focusing on Pentecost at the end of this Easter season. I want us to all step back and reflect on the Holy Spirit and the working of the Holy Spirit in our lives 
as we develop this, this new life. Uh, our gospel this weekend will be about the vine and the branches, and it's the Holy Spirit that flows through those vines and branches. It's the Holy Spirit that is there. So um, we need to become aware of how the Holy Spirit is animating us, is moving us, so that we can take that next step. So uh, coming up, September 15th, we're going to have uh, what's called a Life in the Spirit seminar. All day on Saturday, uh, we'll, we'll have a, a retreat, reflection, uh, music, singing, uh, all to really uh, inspire us to recognize the Holy Spirit moving in our lives, uh, moving in our parish. So um, as we go here into the month of May, we'll be focusing on that. A couple of big things happening this weekend. Um, we got the Healing Mass tonight, 7 o'clock. Invite everybody to come out. Uh, we have adoration all night, um, adoration all night tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow we have the uh, Communal First Saturday devotion. So encourage everyone to participate in that. Both will have it in the church and we'll have live stream uh, throughout all of that. So if you uh, can't make it uh, here to the church to participate in person, uh, join us via the live stream. And uh, I would also encourage uh, several of our parishioners have uh, filmed videos for us about their walks of faith and their journeys. And uh, we're including the latest Stephanie Hall's uh, video in today's flock note. And uh, we've had others and, and we'll still have uh, some more coming up in the coming days. And uh, this weekend, the last uh, few days to, to complete the Disciple Makers Index as well, the, uh, all day Sunday. And then uh, we'll wrap that up as well. Yeah, please fill out that Disciple Maker Index survey if you haven't had a chance yet, um, really to assess where you are and what that next step is that you need to take and give us feedback on where as a parish we can support you in taking that next step. So please fill out that survey. Father, thanks for your time. We'll talk to you next week.